from the WYLN studios in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. WYLN Evening Edition at 5.30 starts right now. Good evening, it's Tuesday, May 19th, 2015. I'm Ann Gownley. Beginning at 7 o'clock this morning, voters headed to the polls for this year's primary election. WYLN stopped by several polling places throughout the day and spoke with judges of elections for the 9th and 11th wards in Hazleton. Both men tell us that this morning's turnout wasn't as large as they thought, but are hoping that this afternoon when people get out of work, they come out to vote. We could be a lot busier, perhaps, uh, after uh, say 4 o'clock, people get through working between uh, 4 and 7. Uh, hopefully it'll pick up. I would think that uh, people should come out and vote. Uh, yes, the mayor election, there's the uh, school board, the council. Um, we think, thought there would be more people here earlier in the day. We'll have to wait until uh, this afternoon to see uh, if things close. Voter, voter turnout has been okay. Um, we only have about 10-12%. A little on the light side, especially for such important things going on uh, and things to vote for, things that things that involve our local community, like like the school board and the mayoral election, as well as city council. Um, so it, it, you should see more people come out and vote and try to make a difference. This year's races in Hazleton include mayor, council seats, Hazleton area school board, district attorney, Pennsylvania Supreme Court judge, and Superior Court judge. Polls close at 8 o'clock tonight, so make sure to head to your polling place and vote before the clock strikes 8. It's primary election day, and once again, WYLN is taking the lead when it comes to bringing you all the information on election night. Tonight, host Don Pachentz will be joined by Tiffany Cloud, former Hazleton Mayor Mike Marsicano, and current assistant Wilkes-Barre solicitor Bill Vinsco Jr. Both Marsicano and Vinsco have been longtime fixtures in the area, and this year's discussion is sure to be a lively one. WYLN's Gary Perna, Eric DiBerardinis, Gabriella Justin, and myself, along with the rest of the WYLN team will be out in the field covering various races in our area. So make sure you tune in to WYLN tonight beginning at 8 p.m. And remember, WYLN is your election station. Hazleton police are investigating a robbery home invasion in the 100 block of East Arbutus Street. According to police, the incident happened around 1030 Monday night. The victim told police that two dark skinned males knocked on his door and when he opened it, they forced their way inside. One of the suspects displayed a handgun. The suspects demanded money from the victim and when he could not provide them with any, they removed the television from the home and fled the residence. Anyone with information on this robbery home invasion, you are asked to call Hazleton Police immediately at 570-459-4940 or dial 911. All calls will remain confidential. According to Mahanoy City Police Chief John Kazmarczyk, a man was found dead in Mahanoy City last night. Stephen J. Wilner of Mahanoy City was reported missing on Sunday. Around 8 o'clock Monday night, police were called to a wooded area northwest of the 8th Street Basketball Court. Mahanoy City Police were assisted by State Police Records and Identification Unit out of Reading, the Schuylkill County District Attorney's Office, and the Schuylkill County Coroner's Office. Police are continuing to investigate as to the cause of death and are awaiting the medical examiner's findings. Anyone with information is asked to call the Mahanoy City Police Department at 570-773-2310. The state Supreme Court ruled yesterday that witness testimony should be heard against murder suspect Joshua Ovalis. He is accused of fatally shooting 24-year-old Von Kemp in July of 2013. Key witness Eric Rodriguez testified against Ovalis at a preliminary hearing in August of 2013. Rodriguez then fled to the Dominican Republic because he was afraid to testify at the trial. Luzerne County Judge Thomas Burke ruled in September that the prosecution couldn't use the preliminary hearing testimony at the trial because they failed to provide that Rodriguez was unavailable. The Superior Court ruled that the evidence was sufficient and that the prosecutors did make the efforts to make Rodriguez available. Ovalis is currently serving a 20 to 40 year prison term for a separate attempted murder case. A church in Foster Township has become the target of vandalism. According to Pennsylvania State Police, the St. Michael's Recreation Building on 300 Fern Street in Foster Township was spray painted with several graffiti marks. The incident was said to have occurred between Monday, May 11th and Wednesday, May 13th. The investigation into the vandalism is ongoing. Anyone with information on this incident is asked to contact the Pennsylvania State Police in Hazleton at 570-459-3890. 
Graffiti and multiple code violations have shut down a home in Freeland. Our Julie Stefanovich has more on this story. A house on Washington Street in Freeland was shut down by the borough for multiple code violations. The police department has also been called to the residence numerous times in the past year for other problems including domestic disputes. The property here is a nuisance property and we decided that it needs to be shut down because in the last less than six months we had 16 either code or police violations that the police came over had to sell, settle domestic disputes or some kind of problem. The graffiti marking the home condemns the police and the mayor and was done by the homeowner himself. The mayor said that the house was painted sometime on Sunday, catching the attention of neighbors, code enforcement and police. That we've been here at least a dozen times for various violations. Code was here a whole bunch of times for violations. They refused to get an occupancy permit, got a busted sewer line in the basement, which time we condemned it under the ordinance. He was cited before for disorderly conduct, harassment, assault charges he has pending. He's actually out on bail right now for those charges. He has a hearing coming up next month. According to attorney Donald Karpovich, over 16 infractions have occurred at the home in the past 12 months, deeming it a chronic nuisance property. Under the, uh, under the borough code, uh, Freeland Borough adopted the cro chronic nuisance property ordinance, and that ordinance states that if you have three or more infractions over a 12-month period, that uh, you could issue an order prohibiting anybody from using, accessing, or residing within the property for a 12-month period. It's sort of a, uh, a penal provision that uh, was an acted into the code to prohibit future uh, nuisances from occurring at a property. The mayor has a message to violators. You're going to have a nuisance property. Myself, the police, code enforcement, we're going to shut it down. You are not welcomed here. We want Freeland to be a nice community where people can live not have problems. The homeowner has five days to clean up the graffiti. He also must resolve other code issues before being allowed to move back in. In Freeland for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. Thank you, Julie. Time now for a first look at our forecast. Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbachik is in the Weather Center with the details. Joe, what can we expect weather-wise and is there any more rain in our forecast? Oh, overall, not looking too bad across our area, although it's going to get a little bit cooler across northeastern and central Pennsylvania, but things are quiet across the northeast now. No precipitation to deal with. Overall, looking pretty nice. Not the case as you head out toward the Nebraska, Kansas, and Oklahoma. Leading edge of some rain and even a little bit of some uh, severe weather breaking out. Now, earlier over the past six hours, uh, there were a couple of uh, pop-up showers, even a lone thunderstorm, but a lot of our area did not see anything temperature-wise. Boy, it is mild out there. 81 in New Angola, 81 in Berwick, 81 in Mahanoy City, and 83 degrees in Bloomsburg. We'll talk more about the complete seven-day forecast coming up a little bit later on. Ann? Thanks, Joe. Coming up next, a look at what Memorial Day celebrations will be taking place in Freeland. Plus, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbachik will be back with a full look at our forecast. Stay tuned. More news is headed your way only on WYLN. You're watching WYLN News, Greater Hazleton's only local news broadcast with Ann Gownley, Gary Perna, Julie Stefanovich, Kristen Bozinski, weather with Joe Garbachik, and sports with Eric DeBerardinas and Gabriella Justin. region's most trusted health network. One back to two, one back. Both lanes coming to you. Fans here at Pocono are screaming. They're jumping up and down. There it is, one baby.
Zanoli Small Engine Repairs, your local full-service garage, specializing in the sale of the Skag Line Mowers, the best-built cutting commercial lawnmower made in the USA. Your first service on the new mower is free if you mention WYLN, so make your summer work easier by local and service local. Zanolini's full-service garage. At Whitetail Preserve, they pride themselves with giving their guests five-star service. They are now open for lunch six days a week and offer limited delivery service for lunch to businesses in Cunningham, Valmont, and Humboldt Industrial Park. Call them at 570-384-2314. The 25th Annual Freeland Chamber of Commerce will hold its annual Memorial Day celebration this weekend. WYLN's Gary Perna has more. This Memorial Day weekend, the Freeland Chamber of Commerce will hold the 25th Annual Memorial Day celebration at Memorial Park in Freeland. Like in years past, the weekend will be packed with lots of fun activities for the entire family. May 24th and Monday, May 25th, and it's going to start at 10 o'clock and it's going to end at 10 p.m. on Saturday. 10, uh, 12.30 is going to be the parade on Sun, um, Memorial Day and it's going to end at 6. The uh, entertainment is going to be a band uh, called Crotech Rock. They're going to be playing in the afternoon on Sunday. In the evening, we have a fantastic band called Flying Blind. They uh, open for Three Dog Night and for Jefferson Starship. They'll be performing from 7 to 10. After their performance, we're going to have fireworks all day long on Sunday they will have a beer tent. Hester said then Monday the annual parade will kick off at 1230 and they will take time to honor and pay tribute to our nation's veterans. On Monday there will be uh Eckley players they'll be playing. Uh, there'll be a memorial uh, salute to the veterans. After that, then we're going to have Milton Degato in, in the pavilion. He does Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, uh, and some doo-wop music. And we cannot forget about the annual Freeland Pub Run. And we're also going to have the Pub Run, which starts at 3 o'clock and ends at 6. This is the 18th run of the Pub Run, and it's going to be a, a fantastic event. And I hope that everyone comes out to see us. The Chamber is also thrilled to have a new clock in place just in time for the celebrations at Martin Square. The clock time and temperature was lit up. Uh, one of the code members devoted his time and his expertise. We've got it working. It's been years. The town has been waiting for it. We had one years ago. The response to fundraising by the Chamber was overwhelming. There's no other word I can use but overwhelming. Lapuka said there has always been a clock in the borough of Freeland. The importance is it's a symbol of the town. We're here, we're here to help the town, we're here to do things in conjunction with the town as any other civic organization should. So this weekend make sure you head out to Freeland and enjoy the Memorial Day celebration. And Freeland for WYLN News, I'm Gary Perna. Thank you, Gary. Coming up next, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbachik is back with a full look at our forecast. Plus, Candu presented a check to a local business to help them purchase new equipment and support employment in the greater Hazleton area. Stay tuned, more is headed your way only on WYLN. inspire you and let relaxed sophistication fill the air and the walls around it find beautiful cabinetry finishes and details that capture your personal style craft made it becomes you call click or visit your local craft made dealer today Wilkes-Barre on Tuesday, May 26th. Feel the thrill of WWE SmackDown as Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and Dolph Ziggler team up to battle WWE World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, and The Big Show in a six-man tag team match. Plus, don't miss Sheamus Live. It's WWE SmackDown, Tuesday, May 26th. Tickets are available. It always feels good to pull my own part. Saves a lot of money, too. I've never actually pulled it before, but I think it's time. It's environmentally conscious, and it can be a lot of fun. If you're a do-it-yourselfer who's up for an adventure, then come out to Harry's You Pull It. Pull your own quality recycled auto parts for up to 90% off the cost of buying new. Savings like that will keep more money in the bank, which could lead to even greater fun. Harry's You Pull It. We got used.com.
little bit of a breeze outside. We got the humidity in the air. We got those very warm temperatures to contend with and a few clouds here and there. But other than that, a pretty nice looking day for elections. No reason why you can't get out to uh, vote. In fact, you still got a couple more hours yet to exercise your right to vote. If you haven't voted already, by all means, get out and vote. All right, well, get outside because it's beautiful. The last couple of days, it was splendid. Stunning, if you will. But if you like some cooler temperatures, more pleasant conditions, those are going to start to head in our direction. And you're going to notice a little bit of a cooler trend over the next couple of days. Live 35 SkyCast Doppler, nothing to show you at least across our immediate viewing area. We continue to remain dry. Now there was a couple of scattered showers out there um, earlier. Most areas didn't see anything. 81 degrees, our lively high tire conditions outside our station in Hazleton. And since the midnight hour, we've picked up five hundredths of an inch of precipitation. And notice those winds, a little bit breezy out there, 10, 15 or so miles per hour. Our coordinated health almanac page for the day, getting up to 82 to low being 55. That's above the average high of 71. The records still stand, 542, 818, sunrise and sunset for tomorrow. Look at these numbers, very impressive. 84, Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport, 83 in Philadelphia. 85 in Williamsport, 81 in State College, but notice the cooler air, northwestern PA, where it's only 54 degrees in Erie. Up in the Wyoming Valley area, it's pretty nice temperature-wise and holding in the 80s. Skycast precipitation and clouds. Things not looking bad as we head into a tomorrow, but again, you're going to notice the cooler air. Speaking of the cooler air, here it comes. Maybe some upper 40s tonight, other than that, some 50s tomorrow. 60s will do it for the most part. Maybe some upper 30s as we head into tomorrow night and early Thursday morning. So cool, refreshing air on the move as we start going into tomorrow, the middle part of the week. And then on a seven day extended forecast, here's what we can expect over the next couple of days. We got temperatures in the 60s, that'll do it. And then temperatures near 70 by the second part of the week end and then going into early next week. The daytime, Pennsylvania lottery numbers, the pick two, seven, six, the pick three, five, nine, seven, and the pick four, nine, eight, nine, five. We'll continue to have more for you coming up after these commercial messages. During these changing times, is your insurance program up to date? I'm local Allstate agent Gary McNeilis. I invite you to come into our office or give us a call. We'll help you be sure that you have the proper coverage to take care of all your family's needs at a price you can afford. Now more than ever, you need to be in good hands to protect everything that's important to you. Our team of insurance professionals and I will be honored to serve you. Are you in good hands? At Cuck's Turkey Farm, we are family owned and operated for over 45 years and we consistently strive to produce premium poultry. We offer the finest all natural country poultry, antibiotic free, all vegetarian fed with superior white meat yield and exceptional flavor. So we invite you to experience the unique natural taste of our poultry for your enjoyment and your health. Give us a call or stop in today. WYLN Weather is sponsored by Coordinated Health. Coordinated Health, we make you better together. I grew up in Pittston. I know what it takes to live in a small town. I know a lot of these people and they know me. And that's why I believe everyone should have access to high quality affordable health care. And why I'm pleased to tell you about a new choice, Coordinated Health. I want the very best for my family, friends, and neighbors, and I know Coordinated Health will bring a new level of patient care to the Wyoming Valley. A check was presented to a local business to help them purchase new equipment and support employment in the Hazleton area. WYLN's Julie Stefanovic has more. Hawk Mountain Labs received the $195,000 check this afternoon from CanDo and the USDA Rural Development Loan Fund. The money will go towards purchasing new machinery and equipment. The funds were managed by the Northeastern Pennsylvania Alliance. CanDo was proud to be able to help the business obtain the funding. 
Well, we were very happy to assist Hawk Mountain Labs and Jeff Gittleman uh, promote his family-owned local business, a regional business in the area. Can Do is a certified economic development organization that is able to bring state funds in the form of loans and grants to small businesses. And we were very excited to be a part of this to help him grow his business and provide new jobs in the Hazleton area. Through our financing division that we really kick-started in the last year, uh, we've expanded our outreach to the entirety of Luzerne County through our certifications. We want to help small businesses. Hawk Mountain Labs is a privately owned analytical laboratory which employs around 33 people. They have been in business for the past three decades and support the coal industry, water, and sewer treatment plants. Can Do came and coordinated multiple loan packages to bring the whole project together, helping us achieve a niche for each one of our, our, our needs. And as a small business, it's very difficult to navigate through a multiple loan processes such as this. And they pretty much did all the work for us, and we were our advocates, supported us, did the filings, state, county, federal organizations, and here we are today. Is For more information on CANDU and its services, you can visit HazeltonCANDU.com. Reporting for WYLN News, I'm Julie Stefanovich. Thanks, Julie. Coming up next, Eric DeBerdinas is in with sports here on WYLN. Plus, Chief Meteorologist Joe Garbacek will have one final look at our forecast. Stay tuned. All Care Home Care, the health care that you need in the comfort and privacy of your own home. At All Care Home Care, our caring and compassionate staff of skilled nurses, occupational speech, physical therapists, dietitian, social worker, and home health aides will give you the professional care you need. Call 459-3002. With All Care Home Care, you will feel so much better and be able to do so much more. Remember, it's still your choice for your care. Call us and we'll be there. WYLN TV 35 has strong ties to the community as evident in its commitment to important causes like the American Cancer Society and Helping Hand Society Tilt Funds. WYLN's commitment to Northeastern Pennsylvania continues with a broadcast of Hazelton's Fun Fest Parade and both Christmas and St. Patrick's Day Parades in Wilkesbury. In the summer, we broadcast the Weatherly and Giants of Spare Hill Flag. And throughout the year, we provide important community services through the broadcast of town meetings, school board meetings, election night coverage, and other events. WYLN, we're your local end. Only one state qualifier makes softball districts even more intense, and that's what we were treated to today in Freeland. Single A action, four seed MMI hosting Old Forge, top three. Alicia Santa Sierra skies it for the third out of the inning. Not so fast. Desiree Dinko doesn't possess the ball. Kirsten Bragg picks up the bat and heads for the dugout. She apparently touches the plate, so Old Forge up one zip as MMI loses their appeal. Bottom four over the head of Gianna Marsico and Ellie Maduro beats the throw to first. That call also contested. Then, with extra life, Dinko getting a piece. It falls on the edge of the grass, and the preppers tie it at one all. However, Old Forge goes on to win in eight innings. Two to one is the final. Yesterday, MMI Baseball opening the playoffs in defense of their district championship in the single A quarters, hosting Susquehanna. Ed Herbner on the hill for MMI. Top of the third, Preppers up 5-2. Christian Miller slices it to center. The Sabres with a runner on third. Next, Herbner jams Casey Burdick, but the misplay in right. Ball drops and bounces, and Susquehanna plates two runs, so it's a 5-4 ball game. Bottom three, MMI answers right back. Sam Harmon down the line, a misplay in left and he is in for the double bagger. Then John Stish knocks what should be a easy sacrifice fly, but there's a delay and some confusion, and Mike Badamo, who's on the pinch run, eventually tags and eventually scores. Nine to five is the final as the Preppers move on to face Forest City in Wednesday's semifinals. Moving over to Quad A, Hazleton hosting Williamsport. In the first, David Klein at third, Robbie John at the plate. 
make that climb cross, crossing the plate and John at first after the millionaire's error. Joey Barron gets the nod on the mound and his stuff was on point all day. Top two check swing, not checked enough. That's okay. Swing and a miss there. And one more time, Barron strikes out the side and the Cougars advance by a 2-0 final. Scranton next up in tomorrow's semifinals. For high school, the season is short. For the pros, a long grind. After a slow start, the Rail Riders finding a groove and playing their best ball of the season. Last night against Charlotte, Tyler Austin with a sack fly in the eighth inning. And then next up, Ben Gamel with the RBI liner. And Scranton Wilkesbury pitchers combined for a shutout. 3 0 is the final, making it five straight wins for Scranton Wilkesbury. And the Iron Pig series opener against Syracuse was suspended after nine innings due to weather and tied at one apiece. So today they'll play two or extra innings in the first game and then a full game. Stay tuned. Coming up, Joe Garbacic is in with a final look at the forecast. For all your projects, large and small, Bedrock Gardens has it all. They are fully stocked and ready to fill your order. Rubber mulch and rubber curbing to match. Lots of color choices to pick from. Wall stone, natural stone, full pallets ready to go. Their bins are full with rich colored quality mulch that will look wonderful all season long. Finish off your fabulous outdoor space with their quality patio furniture and easy to assemble fire pits. Everything you need for your summer projects. Delivery available or just stop by and they will load you up. Bedrock Gardens, locally owned and operated. Call today. Tune in every Sunday night on WYLN from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. for hard-hitting, high-flying, non-stop action as only Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling High Voltage can bring you. That's Pennsylvania Premier Wrestling every Sunday night on WYLN. I'll see you in the ring. Go Hog Wild for Iron Pigs Baseball. WILN is televising the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs Live, America's favorite pastime on your local network, WILN TV 35. See the Major League Stars of Tomorrow at Coca-Cola Park. Don't miss any of the games here on WILN TV 35. Visit WILNTV.com for a complete Iron Pig schedule. Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs on WILN, your home for live sports. Well, it is quiet throughout the Commonwealth of the state of Pennsylvania. You know, just a, a few isolated pop-up uh, showers and storms. You can see one right there and one down, well, not quite near Philly, but close enough. That's it. That's all we have to deal with. Temperature-wise, pretty nice. 79 in Mount Pocono in the 80s. Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport, Seals Grove as well, and Williamsport and Harrisburg almost near 90, 79 in State College. And you see some of that, the cooler air uh, pushing through in northwestern PA with temperatures only in the 50s in Erie. And we're going to bring in some cooler air more comfortable air, less humid conditions as we progress through uh, tomorrow. Overall, not looking too bad. If you don't like the uh, heat and you don't like the humidity, you'll like this weather. Here's a look at the extended forecast, which we can expect the next couple of days. Uh, not the heat that we've been dealing with in the 80s and the humidity, but some more comfortable conditions near 60 for tomorrow. We may not get out of the 50s holding in the 60s the rest of the week and early next week we should be near 70 degrees all right well it does look like a beautiful memorial day mm. for all the we'll celebrations keep our fingers crossed, and yeah. all the parades and of course you know being able to be out there and celebrate our veterans mm. so if that's what you have planned this weekend looks like a nice weekend yeah so far so good all right it was pretty humid today yeah that'll be gone by tomorrow yeah well last night it was it was rough there was a lot of rain down by me yeah yeah yeah, driving home. <laughs> That's nice to know. I know. Sure. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't even realize there was rain yesterday. Did was you little, go outside? Uh, I think so. <laughs> sorry, you caught me a little off guard. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. What day is it today? Today is Tuesday, election day. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. He knows that. Yeah. I think he knows his name. I'm not going to ask him. Huh. No, know. don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it is the heat. Maybe we need some rain to cool off and... We'll see what happens. Well, whatever your plans are, <laughs> it'll be nice out. Have a wonderful night, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow, we hope.